We discover now this position in a, in a striker, like he make a movement like, uh, wow, well, the best strikers move is in behind. We discover now this position in a, in a striker, like he make a movement like, uh, wow, well, the best strikers move is in behind. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I do want to speak on three very important things that Ferran Torres is going to be bringing to FC Barcelona. These are going to be the reasons why Xavi signed Ferran Torres and why he wanted this player immediately during the January transfer window. Because let me tell you guys, after analyzing Ferran Torres for so many weeks, what Ferran Torres is going to be bringing is exactly what Barcelona have been missing in the past four to five months. And we are going to go into great detail when it comes to these three important things so we are going to go very tactical this is going to justify why barcelona paid manchester city 55 million euros plus 10 million euros for this spanish star but first i do want to shout out the one football app the one football app is considered as the best football app you could find within the app store when it does come to the latest player news team news if you want to follow your team within la liga or the premier league or the german league you guys would be able to do that within the one football app you guys would also be able to see the latest transfer news anything regarding your favorite player or team all of that is going to be compact within one app and for those of you guys who are in the UK you guys are also able to see La Liga highlights if you guys do want to see some highlights regarding Real Madrid Barcelona Atletico Madrid all of that again is going to be within the one football app if you guys do want to download the app you guys can either scan the barcode that you do see on the video or you can look at the link which will be in the description box down below but now let's get back into the video so let's first start with point number one and that is that Ferran Torres can attack the spaces very well as a number nine. There is a reason why I did show you guys this video about Pep Guardiola speaking on how Ferran Torres moving as a nine. He is just like Vardy, who is a well-known and respected world-class number nine. Ferran Torres knows exactly how to play in that role because one of the things that really does stand out when it comes to Ferran is that he knows exactly where to run and when to do so because there has been many times in Barcelona where we have seen Gavi or Nico or Frankie have possession of the ball and they could not find that number nine or an attacker to lay the ball off to in order to complete the attacking opportunity. Memphis Depay, we have seen at times try to do that, but 99% of the time, he does not understand what Gavi or Nico or Frankie are trying to do, and he does not run to that attacking space. So the option that it leads Barcelona towards to is Gavi or Nico or Frankie passing it towards either Dembele or Ansu Fati or Abde, which is our case at the moment. This is why we do see Dembele see way more of the ball than before. It is because our number nines are very inefficient and let me give you guys an example right here to show you guys exactly what i am talking about and this is going to be exactly what we are going to be seeing when ferran does wear that barcelona shirt and he is playing at the camp nou we can see that gundogan is receiving the ball he lays the ball to a open space an attacking space and ferran torres attacks that space and he takes over the ball he has possession and there we go that is exactly what i do mean by ferran torres knowing and analyzing what spaces to attack to receive the ball it opens the doors it gives opportunity Opportunities where many do not see that opportunity even arriving. Ferran Torres does see what many do not see. And what's so great about this is that because he can find so many opportunities, because he can put himself in this type of position, his goal per shot ratio is extremely high. Like when it comes to Ferran, he does not really see the ball as much. Like we're not going to see him have possession of the ball as much as Dembele or Ansu. But when he does receive the ball and he is positioned like this, his goal per shot ratio is very high, which makes him very efficient. He did show this greatly during the Nations League as a nine under Luis Enrique and we can also see in the previous season which was in the 2020-2021 season Ferran Torres was number 13 on that list when it comes to goals per shot that makes him and puts him in the top 5% in world football so in the Premier League he was beating players like Costa, Keen, Abraham, Pepe, Sergio Aguero, Gabriel Jesus many of these players are actually real forwards and Ferran Torres at that time in that season was also playing as a right winger but because he is such a special specialized player when it comes to goals per shot and putting himself in those positions to even do so this is why he is number 13 on the list his efficiency is outrageous and so again he is not a player that demands the ball all the time but when he does when he actually sees the opportunity he brings so much energy towards that play now let's move on towards point number two and that is Ferran Torres making space for the other players not for himself like I've said before during this video he is not a player that is selfish he does not demand the ball 
ball 99% of the time. He does enjoy making movements that takes out players out of position that would allow his teammates to get all the space in the world. And that comes through being very tactical, being very intelligent. So when we do see those matches, like for example, maybe against Linares or Real Madrid, when we see Ferran Torres not having the ball and why we see so little of him, don't pay attention towards that. Pay attention towards him and his off the ball movement and why he is moving in that way and to see the cause and effect of it. Do we see Ansu Fati receiving the ball more? Do we see Dembele receiving the ball more because of where Ferran is going? Let's pay attention towards that because that is where we're going to see his true effectiveness. Like for example, when it comes to Memphis Depay, he is a player that needs volume on the field. He needs possession. He needs the ball on his feet. He needs to have a lot of shots to convert into a goal. Ferran Torres does not need that. He does not need volume. He needs just an opportunity because his effectiveness is very high. And this is why he does enjoy making movements for other players. And this is going to be very important because of the players that we do have. It's going to allow space for Dembele and Ansu Fati. These are two players who need the ball, right? Compared to Ferran Torres, Ansu and Dembele want the ball on their feet. They want to have possession. They want to do things with the ball. And this is also why I do say that having a front three of Ansu on the left, Ferran as the center forward, Dembele as the right to winger, that is going to be a very, very lethal front three that Xavi Hernandez is going to be having. These are also going to be three players that can share goals between each other. Not every team needs to have a player that takes about 90% of the goals. Dembele, Ansu, and Ferran can greatly share those goals. And when it comes to like Abde, let's just say Abde is on the left wing, Ferran is the center forward, and we have Dembele on the right wing. I would actually not even mind if Ferran Torres does not even move and make space for Abde because Abde is like someone who enjoys being in tight spaces. He knows how to dribble around players. He's very different to Ansu Fati. I think that Ansu Fati enjoys being less marked compared to Abde, but that's going to be for a whole other different conversation. But that's basically it. Now let's move on towards point number three, and that is his versatility. And this is going to lead me towards my conclusion. The fact that Ferran Torres can play as a right winger, a center forward, and a left winger, we have so many opportunities to distribute a different front three. Like for example, we can have Abde on the left, Ferran center forward, Dembele on the right wing, or we can have Ansu, Ferran, Abde, or Abde, Memphis, or Ferran, or Ansu, Memphis, Dembele. There's just so many ways, and it gives Xavi so many options. Now here's the thing, and I want to make this very clear, and this is how I am going to be concluding this video. Ferran Torres, while yes, he can play in many positions, we know that he can do all of those things very well. He does not have the horsepower of Dembele, right? Because when you compare Ferran to Dembele, Ferran does not have the exact same horsepower. He also does not have the magic of Ansu Fati. He also does not have the crosses that Dembele likes to produce, and he is simply not as dangerous when it comes to those crosses into the box. Dembele knows how to do this very well. Does this make Ferran Torres a very inefficient and not a great player? No, that is not the argument that I do want to make. What I'm trying to say here is that Dembele and Ansu are monsters in their own position. Dembele is really good as a right winger. Ansu Fati is really good as a left winger. And I do think that this is where we do have to give our definitive answer. Ferran Torres knows how to play as a right winger, and I do give him a 8 out of 10 rating. He also knows how to play as a center forward, which I would also give an 8 out of 10 rating. And then as a left winger, also as an 8 out of 10 rating. But Dembele and Ansu both produce 9.5s, 10 out of 10 ratings. I want to show you guys a picture here that is coming from Y Scout, and this is his last 75 shot attempts that he has made with Man City and the Spanish team overall, right? This is his last 75 shots. And if we really pay attention to this graph here, one thing that we have to notice here is that Ferran Torres, every time he does shoot on the right side, right, where Dembele does come from, it does not end up converting into goals. That is why we do see an X. If we can see here, most of the colored ones, which is the pink and the blue one, he is usually scoring all of those goals coming from the center area. Now, why is that the case? That is because he understands how to play as a number nine way better than as a right winger or as a left winger. We look on the left side, there's barely any shots taken, but in the central of the box, you can see that all of the goals do come from there, which is why my definitive answer when it comes to Ferran Torres is that he will be playing as the center forward under Xavi Hernandez. This is a player that Xavi has been wanting, that Barcelona has been missing. While yes, he is very versatile, I just do not think that we should be switching him around like every other game. He should maintain in one position, and that one position, again, should be the striker position. And he will deliver, and many of us are going to be very excited to see Ferran Torres deliver for Barcelona in a few weeks from today. But that is going to be wrapping up today's Barcelona Daily News. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new here, welcome to the channel. Please like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys in the next video.